In today's episode of German History with a German Accent, I'm speaking about the Night of the Long Knives, or otherwise known as Röhm Perch. Please support me by hitting the like and subscribe button if you enjoy this video. In the night of June 30th to July 1st, 1934, Ernst Röhm and other high-ranking members of the Sturmabteilung SA had been murdered by members of the Schutzstaffel SS. The NS propaganda spoke about a prevented purge initiated by the leader of the SA. To better understand what happened in that night, let's have a quick look at the history of the NSDAP and the SA. The SA itself was a paramilitary organization of the Nazi party. It fought out battles in the streets and bars during the times of the Weimar Republic against political enemies like the communists from the KPD. And it played a major role during the power seizure of the National Socialist Movement in the year 1933. Ernst Röhm, who commanded the units, by mid-1934, the SA counted about four and a half million members and he could be seen as the second most powerful man in the German Reich. As a comparison, the official military in the Reichswehr counted about 100,000 men in the army and about 15,000 men in the navy. Ernst Röhm saw the SA as carrier of the National Socialist Movement and Revolution. He emphasized the socialist part of the National Socialist Movement and favored further nationalizations and a change of society in the Reich. Röhm also wanted his Sturmabteilung to become the new army of Germany and replacing the Reichswehr. With these ideas, he did not only shock and anger the members of the German military, but also the party leadership of the NSDAP. When the German dictator met with the SA leadership in late February 1934, he supported the military as the sole German army and explained that it would be the future task of the SA to politically educate the German people. Röhm, deeply upset, expressed his frustrations and suggested moving forward without the Lance Corporal of World War I. These statements made their way to Hitler. The Reichswehr and SS, especially the SD, began collecting material against the Sturmabteilung in the following time. On June 4th, both Hitler and Röhm had a several hour long meeting, after which the SA leader left for a recovery vacation in Bad Wiesee in Bavaria. Several days later, he also ordered a general vacation for the SA in the month of July. One entire week prior to the Night of the Long Knives, Hitler, Himmler and the Reichswehr leaders talked about a soon coming purge by Ernst Röhm. The Reichswehr supplied the Schutzstaffel SS with weapons and was set on high alert. Röhm's adjutant was also ordered by Hitler to call a meeting with all high-ranking SA members together at the hotel Ernst Röhm was staying in. On June 28th, all preparations for the Night of the Long Knives were complete and Röhm was secretly expelled from the League of German Officers. In the following night, members of the SA began vandalizing in the streets of several cities after they had gotten knowledge about an operation against their organization. Roughly 3,000 men were on the streets in the city of Munich. The German dictator himself flew in from Berlin on June 30th to meet with the local SA commanders in the middle of the night. He accused them and the SA of treason. Later that morning, Hitler himself went on to arrest Ernst Röhm in his hotel room. Other SA leaders were also arrested inside the hotel. During this action, Ernst Röhm's SA guards arrived at the hotel, but the German dictator was able to order them away without them intervening. The SA leadership, including Ernst Röhm, was brought to the Stadelheim prison in Munich, where they were shot to death by an SS command of Sepp Dietrich, following a kill list. Ernst Röhm was given a pistol and 10 minutes to commit suicide, which he refused and subsequently was shot to death by Theodor Eicke. 
Adolf Hitler hesitated ordering the murder of Röhm, since the dictator still felt that the SA leader did him a great service. It is to say that during the so-called Röhm Purge, not only SA members lost their lives, but also other by the NS regime unwanted people. Former Reich Chancellor Kurt von Schleicher and Gustav von Kahr would be prominent examples. It is estimated that about 1,000 people were arrested during the Night of the Long Knives. How many people lost their lives that night is unclear. Estimates range between 150 and up to 1,000 people. The NS regime immediately began covering up their traces and threatened participants if they revealed information about this night. The NS propaganda saw these actions as a preventive measure against the purge of the SA leader. Internationally, these actions were mostly seen as a cleansing action by the National Socialist government. Thank you so much for watching this video.